guys welcome back today we are going to be talking about a brand new foundation from morphe it is the filter effect focus foundation comes in a box like this they do have 40 shades which i personally think is fantastic i did get mine in the third lightest shade it just says light three right here this is a cool undertone so the first one was pretty white and I think the second one was peach so I did go with the third. It does come in a bottle that looks just like this. It's frosted. This is glass you guys. A nice little pump as you can see right there which I totally appreciate. And you do get 28 milliliters so a little bit shy of the 30 milliliters that is standard but let me just give you a little info on this it says that it is long wearing oil free natural finish foundation hydrate skin and blurs imperfection for the ultimate soft focus look infused with hyaluronic acid a skin nourishing moisture booster vitamin e glycerin it says it's long wearing sweat proof transfer proof and crafted in italy and it does say it's a buildable medium to full coverage and yes, I am super excited because I have had this guy sitting on my makeup table for at least two weeks. So excited to finally getting around to giving this a test, a wear test. I'm going to do the normal 10 to 12 hour wear test. I do have combination to oily skin, large pores, and texture on my skin. So I'm super excited when it says soft focus, like it's a filter foundation. So we're really going to put this to the test. I did purchase brush it actually is for this foundation it is $16 this is the morphe e63 it is made for this foundation but right now at Ulta if you buy this foundation which is $20 you do get a brush free when I purchased this it was separate they weren't having that little deal going on I should say but um, this retails for $20 and this retails for 16 but like I said if you purchase this you do get the brush free right now at Ulta so and it does say why supplies last so if you haven't already please go hit that subscribe button i am a small youtube channel i do appreciate every subscription and you will get a new video from me every monday wednesday and friday and with no further ado let's get right into applying this foundation so you guys just gonna go ahead and jump right into the video and start applying this morphe filter foundation just gonna give that bottle a quick little shake i'm not sure if you're supposed to shake it or not but it does come with a nice little pump and just going to squirt one pump on the back of my hand because we're going to do one side with a brush and one side with a sponge so just going to go ahead and start applying this like i would any other foundation and this foundation here is on the thicker side it's not runny at all it stayed in place on my hand and I noticed that this is the third shade down this is the brush that actually came with the foundation it was $16 I do like how it is slanted right there and I'm just gonna kind of like stipple this in my skin like patting stippling motions but the shade that I got literally said it was cool toned and I noticed this is very yellow. So really kind of bummed about that. But as you can see right here, the brush is doing a pretty good job. But as I am blending, I am noticing that it is not smoothing over my texture, which I'm not liking. So this is supposed to be a soft filter focus foundation and I don't want my texture or my pores showing and it wasn't really emphasizing my pores but it was like bringing up texture like showing my texture and I really didn't like that and I wasn't sure if it was the tool I was using but I'm gonna go ahead and just pump one more pump on the back of my hand and apply that to the other side of my face and this time I am going to be using the Haley's Beauty sponge and we're going just to see if that smooths over the texture and makes it better or if it's the same usually with my textured skin brushes are not very good for that so I usually always do use some kind of sponge and as I'm applying this it feels a lot nicer on this side I guess because the sponge is dampened and I was totally right when I said that the brush brings out more of the texture because this side did look a lot smoother I didn't see as much texture as the brush side so 
just going to continue to pounce this on the skin and I am going to take that sponge I'm looking in the mirror now and yes that side is smoother so I'm just going to take that same sponge and go over the other side to try to smooth all that texture out because that is bothering me so just pouncing that in the skin and that did help a little bit to smooth out the texture but since that side has like dried down I'm really having to pounce that in my skin and here I'm just looking at the difference and it still looks a little textured on my right side which would be your left and then my left side which would be your right looks very smooth so really just trying to get that sponge where that texture is at and smooth it over but all in all this foundation does not look bad at all it looks pretty good it does look like it has a filter on your face so I will give it that I am going to slightly build it up just on my cheek area where I have hyperpigmentation and it built up nice it didn't cake up or look funny or bunched up or anything like that so it is very buildable I will agree with that claim and I also agree with the claim that it is a soft focus filter because my pores were literally disappeared and you can see that covered up very nicely even though I really need to still fix the texture on that side but I am going to go off camera finish applying the rest of my face makeup come back and tell you how it went okay so I am back you guys this is what the foundation is looking like it I do agree it looks soft focus it does look like I have a filter on my face because I honestly do have large pores and textured skin and there is no filter on my camera right now this is literally my skin and I'm gonna get really up close but I want you to see like I literally have no pores you guys which is super amazing and it did not oxidize which is fantastic so only thing I'm gonna say I'm not already a brush gal I don't really use brushes for foundation um, I might use them for like a BB cream or something like that but the brush that was made for this is slanted it's nice it's very soft but I was doing like padding stippling motions and it did give me more coverage than the sponge side but I do want to say that the brush side showed more of my texture so like up here down here on my jawline and over here it still looked nice it didn't look horrible but the brush side wasn't smoothing over my texture and the sponge side went on flawlessly like I have no pores I don't know if you you guys there um, there's literally no filter on my camera this is my skin and with that foundation on totally beautiful but the only thing is there's always a con to something the brush side did give more coverage first go around but it showed more of my texture and the sponge side did flawless with the texture but gave less coverage so personally I'm probably just not going to use the brush I'm just going to build up on the areas that I need because I'd rather have flawless airbrush skin than more coverage when I can just kind of like build it up so I'm probably just gonna pass with the brush but like I said it's free with the foundation so if you can get that that would be good but while I was applying my foundation I did just build it up in the center right here on both sides and went back in with the sponge on both sides because I really needed to fix my skin was looking pretty textured over here um, but I did go fix that and that's what it's looking like now but honestly I'm just going to use a sponge with this foundation just because of my textured skin but even with me building it up a little bit doesn't bother me because it looks like I have a filter on my face so absolutely agree with that for right now um, on this side just to fix my texture I did go in with a little setting spray not just water on my sponge I just sprayed it and I went back in and went over it and it kind of just like smoothed the texture out so just a little side note there if you do have or suffer from texture like I do and foundations do that to you sometimes sometimes you can take just a little bit of setting spray and spray the sponge and go right over it and that's what I did and it just melted into my skin so right now you can't tell the difference that I use a brush or a sponge on either side they both look very flawless and fresh and I am going to do a 
10 to 12 hour wear test so that is it for now you guys everything that I do have on my face I will leave in the description box right down below and we will be coming and checking back in within about six hours to we'll be back in a few hours you guys it has been about five and a half hours now yes I've had this foundation on I just want to do a quick check-in to show you what it is looking like this is looking super beautiful super beautiful I haven't blotted I haven't touched up I haven't did anything I did have a mask on which maybe a little bit right here in my nose rubbed off but you guys this is really beautiful everything's still intact it's not funny looking it's not gathered up anywhere it's just looking very fresh and beautiful and I do agree with the soft focus effect I really am loving this foundation right now I know it's only been on for five and a half hours I'm going to do a total of 10 or more hours but just wanted to come back and show you guys what it is looking like right now and I know I'm getting very close, but I do have large pores right here, and it's really blurred them out, like totally just canceled them out. And that's what is so amazing to me with this foundation. Like, I always have pores you can see through basically any foundation, and I have no filter on this camera right now. This is my skin, and it is just beautiful so we will check back when before I go to bed and wash my face but just wanted to show you guys what this is looking like now and for right now I'm absolutely in love with this foundation so we'll see you guys in a few more hours okay so this is the last check-in guys I'm about to wash my face and go to bed I have had this on for over 10 hours and this is how it is looking it's not terrible I have had worse but it's not the greatest it's definitely not sweat proof, not transfer proof, and does not last all day. Just right off the bat, it is showing my texture. It's came off on a mask like a lot. And it's weird, but when I rub my face, my face is oily. When I rub it, I'm going to show you my finger. It's really oily, but when I show you up close, the foundation looks super, super dry on my skin. It's really weird. I would say that the first five to six hours, this foundation was totally beautiful. It blurred out pores, didn't sink into my, my pores. It blurred the texture once I fixed it. But right now it's looking funky. I'm not sure, but the only thing I'm gonna give it is when you first put it on, it does last for about six hours and it is soft focus. But other than that, it is not sweat proof, transfer proof. Or that it lasts all day and you can see like all this texture it looks dry and cracky but my face is greasy so it's a little bit weird but I hope that helped out you guys and I will see you in my next video and thanks for watching